friends welcome back to the channel it's book club and we are still in the iron druid chronicles by uh kevin hearn we're on book two hexed we're getting close to the end we i think ended with chapter 23 so we're starting on chapter 24 and so they go and meet up with the witches and they are all going to where the German witches are held up. They've all got fancy cars and <laughs> and Leaf is the, the vampire is with Atticus. Leaf shows up in a breastplate and a white shirt with poofy sleeves. And he says that the breastplate is so that these German witches can't stake him. <laughs> so he's trying to think ahead. And so Atticus, Atticus you know, in the last uh, book club, we found he got, he retrieved his two magical swords that he had uh, camouflaged magically in a tree, in his neighbor's tree. And so he gives one to Leaf and he takes one. And they got the stuff from his neighbor's garage. Grenade launchers and flat jackets and things like that. So they're armed up pretty good. And they're being kind of silly on the ride over. And Melina, the leader of the witches, is getting irritated with them. But I guess if you're fixing to get, uh, possibly die, you need to just... Try to put some levity in it, I guess. Baby is what they're thinking. So, I'm trying to visualize this building where they end up going. They said it's three stories. But I'm, I'm still having a hard time really kind of... I just, I just don't do that very well as far as visualizing these big scenes. But, um, they go in. Now, Atticus and Leaf go in, but Melina and her witches are making a perimeter around the building. One to, to kind of, what's the word? Not camouflage. Like a glamour, like the Fae do. They're putting a spell to where people walking by won't see what's going on. They won't hear what's going on. Everything will be look normal. And they're out there also to prevent anything from escaping. That's the plan. So there are supposedly... But now Melina has the hair of the blonde witch. Remember that Atticus got in when he was an owl <laughs> fight on the street. So she will be able to kill her from a distance just because she has her hair but she's gonna wait until after she doesn't want to give their give them away so she's gonna wait until after the battle starts and do that so that means there's 21 witches left and we don't know how many other demons or whatever is in there whatever so they go in and the first thing that they run into are basalt golems i don't know what basalt is is it a, just a rock or a type of rock i'm not sure but that's what they said it's made of and of course a golem is a cabalistic magical creature that is brought to life through the magic and these are made of rock. Some of them uh, are said to be made like of mud or clay or things like that. It's just they like create a monster and then animate it through this Kabbalistic magic. <clears throat> so apparently there are these two giant rock guardians guarding the entrance to the upper floors where the witches are doing their ritual. And they're on a timetable because... Melina said if they finish the ritual, um, they can do that fire spell and they will be able to kill everybody pretty easy or something like that. 
Okay. So, Leif and Atticus are fighting the golems. And he finally, it, it occurs to him that he had already, that this is Kabbalah. And that he had put a Kabbalah ward on, added it to his amulet because of the rabbi that came to his bookshop. So he could protect himself against his beard doing weird things. So he's able to use, so he figures out that really all he's really going to do is touch them. And he will be able to stop the magic, which will unanimate the creature. So Leaf has to do some stuff to get the creature's attention away so that Atticus can get where he needs to get to touch, I get where he needs to touch to make it work. So they end up taking care of those two and move up. I guess they're moving up floor by floor. And let's see. They end up in a room and, I, and again, I'm having trouble like visualizing this, but it, I guess it's a room that's got like magical symbols on the walls. This is where they've done rituals with the these ram demons. Um, so, there they start to battle those. One, I, don't, I think it's just one. I think it's, yeah, it's gotta be this floor. Because there's only three floors. There's gotta be this floor. Where the one ram demon goes after Atticus and says, he does, it's almost like a quote from the Princess Bride. You killed my father and now I must kill you. And Atticus quotes <laughs> the uh, from the Princess Bride, which is funny. But it ends up, it turns out that he is a spawn of the ram that Flittish hunted down and killed after it escaped when Angus Og had the, the portal to hell open. That was one of the things that got out, and she was, she hunted it afterwards and killed it. So, and he's like, it wasn't me! <laughs> but, yeah, so they're fighting, and then they go up yeah, because they, they have to end up on the third level. It gets kind of confusing for me right here. It's hard to follow. But they get to the third floor. And the tw 21 is a lot of people. So part of them are in this circle doing the ritual. And so, and then I guess the other ones are guarding. But it goes up against... The one that killed Perry. It's also the one he broke her nose when he was fighting in the widow's house trying to protect her. And so he recognizes her, but she's not doing spells. She's just got a gun. And she just starts shooting him. So she's, and, and most is getting hit by the flak jacket, but, but she gets a couple of shots in and he's, he's shot and he's bleeding. He loses, he loses the other ear. Not the one that the Morgan helped reform, but the other one. And I'm thinking, okay, remember the the police officer said that in the target security tape that showed him buying the bats, that was his alibi for the Bacchus rampage in the uh, nightclub, that he was missing an ear. But when the police came to talk to him about it. He already had his ear back because the Morgan had done the ritual sex magic to get his ear back. And now he's going to show up with the other one missing. How is he going to explain that? That's, but, okay. <laughs> Maybe that'll be in the next book. I don't know. But, because uh, we're almost at the end. This is our final battle here. And so, he's um, fighting her. So, he, he finally ends up taking her down. And 
Then he goes after... Okay, I may be getting my order. He's got to to stop the circle. The, the, the ritual. He's got to stop that. And he throws his sword at one of them. And it goes through her head. Kills her. So it stops the ritual. But, as he points out... If you stop a ritual like this, some bad things can happen. And it turns out that stopping it actually let one of the a ram demon escape. And then it caused the hellfire to pretty much consume the witches that were doing the ritual. But the ram demon goes out the hole in the wall to escape. He doesn't want to stay and fight. He just wants to get out and go cause havoc. But that's where Melina's circle perimeter comes into check. And we get to see some interesting things about Melina and her powers. She whips out this whip. <laughs> kind of energy whip. And I'm thinking I've seen this in a movie, but I can't remember what. The energy whip thing. I know I've seen it, but do you ever do that? You know you've seen something in a movie, but you can't for the life of you remember what movie it was in. I have seen the energy whip thing. I just can't remember who had it. But So she uses that to catch and kill the ram demon. And you can they see it through the hole in the wall. They were able to see what she did. And so Atticus speaks in German to the remaining witches pretty much like you shouldn't have pissed her off kind of thing. <laughs> but so they've still got, I've lost count at this point because I don't know how many were killed in the circle. But so they've still got some to take care of. One, and I guess I'm assuming it has to be the blonde. One, the whip Melina's whip comes through the hole, grabs her, and jerks her out. I'm thinking it's probably the one that she had the hair. Because she had a, like a target on her. Maybe. So that took out one. And then... Let's see. You, they um, are they're able to, to throw around this hellfire, though. And even though Leaf has the amulet that protects him, he just has this fear of fire... I guess, for centuries of living in fear of it, he's not able to, you know, push through. He shrinks back and and ends up fleeing through the hole in the wall. His Well, no, first I think his poofy sleeve gets him in trouble. Apparently, the amulet, maybe it stuck out. It said something about it was a little out farther than the perimeter of the magic and so his sleeve caught on fire and he panicked and went out the window. Which I was kind of disappointed. I wanted to see more bad, you know what, from from Leaf on this. His poofy sleeve caught fire. Stop, drop, and roll, people. Stop, drop, and roll. They taught us that in school. Do they still teach that? Don't jump out a window because all that air, you know, it's going to feed the fire. And if you're jumping down on, on like if this is, was this in town? See, that's why I was confused. Is it, a, is it a, like a business office building? Then the, are you jumping on concrete? I ain't going to put it out on concrete. Still, right there where you got, you drop, stop, drop and roll right there. Maybe. But, okay. I digress. Back. So, I don't know how many witches are left at this time because I'm totally confused. I've lost count. Totally lost count. Um, and I think one of the other witches drawing a, net, a, a blank on her name. But she comes in to help. And she is... Showing that she's got some really good fighting skills. Much more than he expected. Why can't I remember which one it was? 
I'll try to figure it out. Okay, so she helps. So then they end up being the last two standing. And what, but, let's back up a little bit because I forgot something. During all this stuff going on, even before the ram escaped, so while they were still trying to stop the circle, on the perimeter outside, uh, Bogomiwa was attacked by the rabbi. He had showed up and decided to attack her because she was a witch. He didn't care what side she was fighting on. Because it was just that his laser focus, he just, he's going to kill him a witch. So he is attacking her. But nobody can stop what they're doing because they've got to stop the ritual. So fast forward back to where we were. Melina, no, not Melina. It was the other one that came to help. That one I can't remember the name of. Last two standing, bodies everywhere, and then they hear the scream and realize that it's not going well for Boogle. Uh, <laughs> I can't say her name now. I said it a minute ago. Bogomiwa? Bo Bogum okay. <laughs> <laughs> but and so they run out and that I think is where I'm going to stop this week because there's so much going on and so we're still not quite we're almost finished but we're not quite finished I'm going to stop there this week um because it's just so much so we end it with them darting outside to see what happened to her. So, we're going to pick the rest up next week. Because there's a lot that happened to try to digest and, and get it all in my head. Um, so, we, next week we're going to have to find out what happened to Leaf when he went out the window. What happened to Bug... 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 Miwa. Bug Miwa. What happened to her? How many... The first book, how many of our characters died? One of Melina's witches? No. No. The six bad witches... Um, but it was a start of this book that one of hers, good witches, was killed. But last book, we lost two werewolves in that fight. I think that's all. And this book, we've already lost Perry. We already lost Perry. And now we'll wait till next week to find out whether or not we lost Bogomiwa and Leaf or anyone else. So, all right. That's a lot to process. <laughs> but thanks guys for hanging out with me and going through this book series. It's a lot of fun. And if there's anything you want to fill me in on that I got wrong, I missed, or that's important to a plot line that, that I'm skipping over, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys Sunday for story time. And then I think, you know, I might throw in another video of something else, maybe in the studio or something like that. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Bye.